Hello trainers, Professor Turon here and today I'll bring you the battle against the Galley Gladiators in our DBC Season 2, Week 2 uh, battles. Uh, we're battling against Shang, uh, he already told me that he, uh, uh, he has bad internet connection so if the battle takes long I'll try to cut the boring parts out. As you can see in, on his team we bring in Salamence, Darmanitan, Trampa, Bronzong, Mew and Suicune. Um, it's like almost that uh, we got most of the predictions wrong, but there are some surprises here like Trampa and Bronzong. Um, Mew, I kind of expected him to bring that instead of Killing Dijala, but the Sweet Queen, Salamence and Darmanitan, um, we predicted that very right. So let's see what we can lead here. Um, uh, yes, doesn't have uh, electric resist. So I think I'm just going to lead with uh, Tundra or Trap Striker, or I can go for my Infernape and get something off. Um, but what is he going to lead with? Hmm. I think he's going to lead with Mew, with Mew or Bronzong, something like that. So I think I go to Ace. Our primary Pokemon that needs to stay alive is our Primarina. Uh, I think that is very uh, a good thing to know. Hmm. We can already scout if we want to. Um, on which uh, item he has right now. But I think that's a really, really risky. Um, but I didn't thought he would lead with our man then. I expected more of a new lead or something or bronze on eventually Salamence for that matter but not a Darmanitan lead hmm. thing is I don't know if I can hit something let's try to calc that um, oh you you can see that as well Event against Darmanitan. Like I said, Wall Breaker. Hmm. If he has Heart Quick, he destroys us and Flare Blitz as well. So he can destroy us. And as, as he Scarf, of course. I don't know if I should scan right now because if we. I can just save. Uh, just throw in my Mega or. Riptire or Ariel because then we will lose because he outspeeds us when he is scarfed. Um, so I'm thinking just to go for a U-turn and see where this goes. Oh, he switches out, okay. We U-turn out, then we switch into our Ariel because that's our primary check against uh, that thing. So just use Energy Ball. We're not going to uh, play the prediction game right now. We're just trying to figure things out, how the stats are running and stuff. But when he switched out with our mana, then I think he expected um, me to hit him with a close combat or something, or something like that. So I think he isn't Scarf, so I so he must be Bandit. Which is really a uh, really good thing to know. Mm, I think, yeah, like I said, his, his internet connection isn't that really good, so it can take some time when he battles. Uh, like I said, um, it's really unexpected some Pokemon to see, like Trampa. I don't really know why he brought Trampa. Okay, it's a very good special attacker. But as I can see now, he has two physical attackers and the rest are all special attackers. So that's a little bit weird for me. Um, okay, he calls in Bronzong. He's probably going to hit us with a Gyro Ball or something. So I think I just go to Rip Tire. Because he knows that our Prime Marina is, is a big threat for his team. She can take on Suicune, Trampas, Salamence. Manhattan, like four of his members she can take uh, and he doesn't have anything to wear me down for that matter so Bronzog 
um, stays in. You use Stealth Rock. Um, sorry for the cut there because Shang lost his connection. Um, so we get our Stealth Rocker in. I don't know what he's going to do now, but I'm just going to put my Stealth Rocks up. Because I don't think he's really got something to hit me with. If he has Earthquake, we can live that. Because we have physical defense to settle, and he can, and he will probably switch out because of uh, uh, because of our earthquake or knockoff. So yeah, he okay, puts in Suicune. I got my rocks up. That's fine. Uh, then we switch back to our Ariel to our Primarina. So like I said. Oh, he has a war, okay. He wars into a Thunder Hoof, which isn't bad. We can just full switch out here or use Thunderbolt. Um, I think he doesn't have really something to hit us. If I take a Thunderbolt, will be fine. He's probably going to switch out into Dragon Manhattan or Mew or something. Or maybe Bronzong, for that matter. We don't really know anything yet, we just know that Suicune is a Roar set and that Darmanthan is probably Bandit. So he put in Drampa, okay, that's a little bit... Oh, we got the Paralyzed, but that doesn't mean much because it's a very low, uh, slow mount to begin with. I think a Hidden Power Ice can kill him right now. I'm not sure. It can be a salt fast. Uh, let's damage scale that for a moment. Um, if my internet tr tries to work with me. Uh, the or Thunder Hoof set. And then we go with Grumpa. Yeah, we only need to use this. Let's go for this. Hidden Power Ice won't kill him, so we just fold switch out then. We're definitely faster than him. He probably go for Dragon Meteor or Dragon Pulse or something like that. But we need to get those rocks off immediately. They need to go away. Oh, that was a crit. Mm. I'm thinking to go into Ariel or just go into Crobat. I don't know what he's going to do. So I'll just go into my Ariel just for safety measures. If he uses Thunderbolt or something. Oh, damn. I don't know why we deserve these hacks, but we get a lot of hacks, and that's not fun. Because I, I don't, if I won this one, it kind of feel like I didn't do my best or something. So, but we really get the hacks. <laughs> Because we get the para, we got the crit, and now is unable to move. I'm just using Skull because when he switches into Darmanitor or something, then we have that. It's a nice step. I think it will kill Drampa in this range. And Moonblast doesn't hit uh, other Pokemon less hard. So he puts back his Bronzong, we use our Skull. Ooh, that does a lot of damage. I'm not going to stay in because he probably will gyro ball and we won't like to take that hit because he already has stealth rocks up so he doesn't go for that in my opinion. We can go into our ace to see if he's heat proof or not. I think ace is a good uh, good thing to have because when he goes into sweet queen I just go for thunder punch. But yeah, I think that's a good thing. But because we need to have some multi play. Oh, he uses Trick Room! Okay, didn't expect that. That's, that steam makes a lot more sense now. Hmm. Okay. Whoa, this was really surprising. I didn't see that one coming. The best thing I can do is just switch out. Because... He has the upper hand, I don't know if he, he probably has Psychic or something like that, so he's going to use that. So, hmm. I'll just go into my, um, do I go into my Riptide? I don't know. Oh, this is really dicey. <laughs> I 
think I go into my Ariel because oh, well, I don't want to wear her down too much. Because like I said, she's the one that can take a hit from the mana time and uh, okay, okay, retire and rage quit as well. But still, hmm. I'm not going to go for bad girl. I'm doubting. I think I go for Ariel. I think that's the most safe bet I have. He switches out. I don't know. Why would he switch out and he doesn't have Psychic or something? Just go for Energy Ball. But I think I am. Yeah, I'm slower than him. But actually, it doesn't. It doesn't suck that hard that he brought Trick Room because we have some slow mons as well. Oh yes, yeah, Sap Zipper! Oh. Well, this changes stuff. I don't know, does. Uh, would he have Turner Balls? I'm not sure. I just go into Riptire just to be sure because I don't uh, I don't gonna bring Ariel in. I need those rocks off immediately, but I can't have a switch uh, safe switch in that right at this moment. Yeah, I do. I thought yeah, Thunderbolt. Yeah, I think his pre I think his Drampa is uh, his Primarina check or something. I think I go for a knockoff for a safe play. Because I think a knockoff will kill at this moment, and when another Pokemon switches in, it's it's good for us. Like it's really good for us that uh, if he switches, he switches into Suicune. Oh, this is really good that we have uh, that knockoff. It doesn't have level recovery anymore, which is really really good. Uh, his Trick Room is off as well. I think I'm just now going to throw Crow Web. I don't think he's going to do a lot to us. At this moment, you scald, okay, uh, and the burn, of course, uh, we deserve that. Um, I just go for defog. I could roost, but I just I rather have my rocks gone than uh, maybe live this one. Okay, sweet. Um, scald does thirty-four percent. Just roost here, and then I switch out again. One million questions. I think I have to let him die right now. Let's see if he has choice scarf or not. If you can toxic him, that would be really nice. Yeah, Akrobat goes down. He is hit with recoil. Um, he's probably banded. I really think that. I can go for a bold play and go to my Gar I go for my Gyarados Mega Evolve. Mega Evolve and just Earthquake. I have to make a ball to attack. Don't have any levitators, so far we know. But even then, with our Mega Evolution, we break that. So, oh yes, uh, Salamence, of course. So the Bronze Zone goes down. That's really good for us. So we can get our Stealth Rocks up again. Okay, yeah, uh, Shang is back after another disconnection. We should live a hit. So I just go for Earthquake and I hope we can take it and live it. He goes for U-turn. Oh, that is a lot. He's prob he's definitely choice bandit. But if is he speed tying us? No. He has a little better speed than us. Okay. That was too easy. That was way too easy. That was way too stupid as well for me. He probably has Moxie or something, so I'm not going to give him that. Um So I think I just switch into Ariel. He switches out. Yeah. He'll probably go for a Thunderbolt or something. Alright, his speed is half, so we are faster. Let's go for Moonblast. Trampa dies. 
we had to do that. Because otherwise, we didn't have a chance anymore. This bronze song is dead, so this fairy check is uh, is gone. We, but we really need to be careful for Ariel. And probably his settlement has Moxie Boost or something like that. So yeah. Okay, he brings in the Mew. Um, I think I just go for my Gyarados. I don't know what he's going to do. He's going for Bulk Up. I Joe just go for Crunch. Got a lot of damage. Baton Pass. If he goes into his Darmanitan right now, we really have a problem. <laughs> I mean, probably is going to Dramatan or Salamence. So either way, it's not good. Because I don't think he goes to Suicune right now with a plus uh, with a plus one attack. I don't think he's going to do that. I think he's going for Dramatan because he knows that's a main sweeper of his team or Salamence. I think Salamence is plus one and it is. C and the C move can really hit us hard. And we probably have to sack someone. Prefer we <laughs> uh, Mega or Mega Gyarados or Rage Quit. Because he's the lowest member, I think Infernape can still do a lot of work against Mew and Suicune uh, and Termanatan. Um, Dolphin is our main check against Termanatan. Um, Oh, he goes into his Dermatan, okay. Um, <laughs> he probably won't outspeed him, so our Gyarados just has to die here. Um, he takes recoil damage, which is fine by me. Um, I just go into Riptire, because that's our main check. We just go for Earthquake and hope he can live that. He has plus one defense as well. He goes to sell, uh, okay, against Suicune. How much did that? 27%. I'm not even thinking about going for something else. I think the best switch is into our Thunder Hoof right now. Because he has an electric move, of course, and can wear down our Suicune a lot. Oh, he goes for the rest. Oh, he goes for the rest. Um, then I just go for a free Thunderbolt. <laughs> Okay, we're back with our Suicune, uh, take, is Suicune taking damage. That's a uh, downside for Rast, you can't do anything. I'm just going for Thunderbolt again, because why not? It's a step move, it will kill the Suicune, so Suicune is dead. That's really good news for us, that's a wall gone. Of course, it goes for the Manhattan. Um, I just think, I'm not going to Salt Switch, I know my Zestrika has done his job. Um, I just go for Thunderbolt and we can definitely see, okay, he is Scarfed, he is Scarfed. He's definitely Scarfed. I really thought he was Bandit. That's a big surprise. I really thought he was Bandit, but we know now that he is Scarfed because he outsped our Death Striker. Um, that's really dangerous for our day. Why did he then... Then I find it really, really weird when he switched out, when... Uh, my Infernape was up. I don't know what to do now. Because I want to go into Riptire. I can make the bold prediction. Do I? I can go into Infernape because that's just killing myself. If I go into Primarina. I can probably take one hit, <laughs> like one hit only, and I can use Skull, and then he will be dead. But I think he's more switching out. Or willing to switch out. But I w really want to keep my... If I just go my Dumpfun, he just switch out into Salamence, and then I have to switch out again. So I think I just go for Ariel for the mid-ground play. And I hope I survive this one. I really hope I survive. Normally it does around 60%, so yeah, it can go either way. But we know he isn't banded. 
So the damage won't do as much. I got on bandit damage, so yeah, I think it will do a little bit less than 60. So I think we can still survive it. Okay, goes to Mew, we scald her. It doesn't kill. I really thought that would kill. I just go for Sculpt again. It's going to roost. Not synchronized, we get a burn as well. That really sucks. Because that wears us down. Just go for Moonblast. I think that will probably kill. I hope so at least. Another bulk up. Oh, I hope it doesn't die from the burn. It's just going to pat and pass right now. It's gonna roost up again. It wants a safe pat and pass, you can see that. Or oh, wants to get me low as well. I just go I'm just going for the scald. Uh, just gonna let my at least because we need to use the skull keep on using the skull because when he switches he is going to switch he is set up a bulk up he just wants to stay healthy I think he wants now is he wants to wear me down that's what he's trying to do at this moment I'm just going to switch I'm not going to risk that Maybe that was a stupid thing for me, but I have no other choice than to switch. I just go to use Fire Punch. That's the only thing I can do. I just, there's no other thing I can do at this moment. Just going for a bulk up. I can just fire punch away. He can roost all day, I can fire punch all day. So it really doesn't matter, I'm not live orb, so... He has to switch in eventually. <laughs> and take a hit. Like I said, even if my Infernape dies at, uh, from this, I don't really care that much. But he has a plus two attack right now, so that isn't really good. Ah, oh, now I'm getting worried. <sighs> because now, if he, he's gonna bat and pass now, or at any moment now, so I'm uh, screwed either way. The same thing, ah, uh, I'm so bad against setup. Next time I'm bringing a taunt user if I only see one setup one or something. But like I said, a bulk. What, what set does he have? Bulk up, bat and pass, roost. I think he doesn't even have an offensive move. Yeah, he goes into a and I think he wins the game right now. Oh, Salmon's to make things worse. I'm just going to Primarina. <laughs> that was actually a really good move. But uh, he, he's going to destroy us either way, he's just going to use his C move or something. See, he doesn't even... He has his C move, otherwise he doesn't have fly. So he's just waiting for me to go into Riptire or something like that. And he has a Moxie boost. Oh, this is really, really, really bad. <laughs> this is really bad this moment. Just going for an ice shard, but he probably has one. But the only offensive thing I have is Infernape at this moment. He, my Dolphin is going to take a hit, 100%. And he's not going to kill. Oh, he's probably going to die from this one. Uh, I asked 30, but yeah, that doesn't do much. Uh, just going for an ice shard again, and then I think we lose. Here's Dragon Claw, and now his Darman then has free room to sweep. Because I have to click Thunder Punch at least to kill him. 
Or, or hmm. I'll just go for a fire punch. Like, he resists that. So yeah, and he wins. Yeah, a really good game from from Cheng. Uh, like I said, he's a really really good battler. Uh, I think we had a good match, but when the Muse set up, um, it was gone for us. Um, too bad we lost this game. Um, but I think uh, the only thing I could have changed was just playing my Pokémon's right. Um, with Infernip, I just need to go for Shadow Claw or something um, instead, instead of Fire Punch. Maybe not use uh, Iron Fist, Infernape. Um, too bad we lost. I really think we had a good chance of winning this one. Just playing our Pokémon's off was uh, a little bit off today uh, due to circumstances, probably. Um, yeah, like I said, the Mew setup was really, really weird uh, in my opinion, but I expected to bring, that Cheng would bring something weird. Um, and the bulk up set, bat and pass, yeah, he just bat and passes his stats over to his sweepers. So, yeah, I think he played a really good game, but I think we also played really good. But like I said, I think the Gal Gladiators are one of the best teams in the DBC right now, so losing against them isn't that bad. Still, kind of sour today uh, for for our team, of course. But we are now uh, zero two uh, in our in our matches. Hope we hope we really can win the next game because I don't want to lose every game, of course. If you want to know more about me or this channel, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Twitter at Professor Turon, and like I said, see you in the next video. So remember, train up.